Okay. So, I have been watching Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing videos for forever. And I have been wanting to do one. And I have never broken into the YouTube verse. So, I felt like my first attempt at this should be a unboxing. Granted, there have already been like a million Duelist Alliance unboxings, but I figured, why not? I got a great deal from a website called blowoutcards.com where I will post in the description. And I figured, you know, why not do it for fun? Can't hurt, right? So, little about myself. My name is Faye. I have been in and out of Yu-Gi-Oh! Probably like most people have. Since I was, I want to say, eight or nine years old. I can't remember. Whenever it first aired in Los Angeles, California. So, it's been some years. I'm like 22. So I've been in and out. So, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! He's like that pimp who is always going to get his money. So, I bought a case of... I don't even know what these ones are called because it's not a booster box, but it's the nice little box where they start introducing Duelist Alliance as Unlimited. So you got your Chital, your Chitals, your Chitals, Stellar Knight stuff, Yangzing stuff, all that fun stuff. So I'll go through one by one and pull. It's 12 boxes, so why not? So let's get started. So let's see what we have in box number one. Well, you got the promo stuff. Promo stuff. My lighting's a little bad here. Let's see if I can fix it. It more. I don't know. Anyway, got your promo stuff. There you go. Um, like 99% positive, all this stuff comes in here. So these are like cards that some of them are like cards that are come out in the next set. So you know, every box should have one of those. Let's see. Common. 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 Chain Dispel is actually pretty good. And first awesome pull, Castell. And then common, common, common. Rare. Chain Dispel is actually a pretty good card. I haven't seen anybody run it. I don't run it, but it's not bad. Might be a good side deck card in the future. So let's see. Super heavy. Spicy spy. Got another rare. Gangzing Unleashed. You can get that. I think it's a super. You get a super of it in this. So common. Common. Shadal. Well, Shadal is fun. Everybody's running those who run Shadals. I actually don't run Shadals. So, there's that. Let's see. Yep, same stuff. Artifacts. Here's a rare. Burning Abyss. I know that thing's like popping right now, like cocaine. So, let's see. Look at that. Oh my god, I pulled I pulled fucking Dante, yo. That's 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 so amazing. I'm not even wow, I pulled Dante. 
I bought a box of this, of the, uh, the booster box when it first came out, and I have seen, like, everything but Dante. So, let's see. That's definitely something I might want to sell. So, I don't run those. What's in this one? Nice. Another rare. Starlight Sky Bridge. Everything else, super heavies. So, oh, we got Stellar Knights. So, yeah, everything else pretty much is, you know, common stuff. Your traps and your magic cards. So, for those of you who don't, super heavies are actually a pretty cool thing to run. I'm currently running it. It's my main deck, which I know. <laughs> Deneb. Nice. Pull Deneb. Which... I know a lot of people don't run, but if you build it right, it's pretty fun. You're probably not going to top a tournament with it, but I know that at locals, I don't go every week, but when I do go, people tend to be not ready, because it's a it's pretty defensive offensive deck, but, you know, maybe it'll top one day. Commons, Bring Abyss. Death spot. Oh, this is actually pretty good. So, we're just one box in, and we've already made some pretty good pulls. Dogu for the rares. It's a hedgehog. Got another hedgehog. So, let's see. Last pack. Let's see, let's see. So, I'm not really sure about the Melodious Monsters, but I've seen quite a few of them. Quite a few, quite a few. And I'm not sure if they're any good or not. So, that was the first one. On to the second. So, on the first box, we got Castell, Dante, and Deneb. So... Not too bad if I do say so myself. You know. Again, want to say thanks to BlowoutCards.com. I know I'm kind of promoting them a lot, but to be honest with you, like their sales are kind of ridiculous. Like even without the sale, they gave me a good deal, but even without it, like their stuff is super cheap. And I mean, they have like everything magic and sports cards all that good stuff just got a rare so nothing special from that first pack let's see nothing special from the second pack another rare Oh, picked up Traveler Burning Abyss. It's like not much, it's like three dollars. Not a bad card. Picked up a Shadal Falco. You know, it's weird. I've not seen a single Yang Zing so far. I haven't seen one Yang Zing card. Oh, haven't seen one Yang Zing card. Just pulled that box here. Got a face off as well, rare. Nothing too fancy. Everything else common. Let's see, next one. Got Shadal Beast, rare. I think this one's gonna turn some heads. Got that Sinister Shadow Games. That's nice. Everything else common. So far, so good. So far, so good. It's looking like it's starting to pay off. <laughs> Got a Stellar Knight Sky Bridge again. Rare. <sighs> Look at that Boxia. Look at it. Oh, that Boxia is so sexy. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Let's see about this one. Got some Burning Abyss. 
nothing else really out of that one. Got a, a hedgehog. Let's see what we got in this one. Got another chain to spell. It's not bad. So here's the rare for this one. Stall dragon. Hmm. Let's see. Oh snap. Got super heavy. Binkai. If you guys don't know, he's badass. I'm probably gonna do a a deck profile later. And then show you guys some Dolus Network stuff. Well, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, but Dolus Network got Bixie. Bixie's a badass. If you're running those uh, Yang Zings, I've been counting some Yang Zing decks that are kind of uh, kind of OP. So we're moving on box three. Okay, so. My camera battery died, so you guys are going to probably see a very weird mesh, which is okay. There's a uh, first time for everything, I guess. Yeah, I left that, uh, left that thing on standby for like a week, so I shouldn't be surprised. Same thing, this pack, there will be 12 of those. This is another box, this would be box number three, actually. So let's see what we got in box number three. Oh, we pulled the promo that nobody cares about, but hey, somebody might want to pick one up, you know. Let's see what we got in this one. Another melodious. Is anybody is anybody running these? If so, let let me know. Kinda wanna know what the fuck they run like. I might build one. See, see what they're like. Oh snap. Got a Doomstar Magician. I don't think he's worth much, I'm not really sure. I haven't heard too much about him. Let's see, once per turn, you can discard one card, then target one card in either player's pendulum zone. Destroy that card, and if you do, draw one card. So, anti-pendulum card. Nothing wrong with that. Might have to side that in. Pendulums are going to take off after the quef lift drop. Those things are kind of, kind of fucking broken. Very interesting to play against if you haven't played it. They're not out in the TCG yet, but they are out in the OCG. So, got a Shadal Dragon. I realize this lighting is like really, really shitty. I'm gonna have to work on this, get a better light or something, better angle. Let's see what we got next. Rare for this one is Face Off. Nothing special. Paolo. Got a hedgehog. Starlight Sky Bridge. For the rare. Let's see, this one. UA Perfect Ace. Don't know anything about these. It's an archetype with not much of anything going on, I guess. Let's see. Whip Snake for the rare. I actually don't know what this does. Once per turn during either player's main phase, you can target one face-up monster on the field, switch its current attack and defense until the end of the turn. Well, that's not that bad. It's a pretty decent card. Seventeen hundred beater. P 
picked up another super heavy Benkai. Then got Sternlight S. I can't say his name. Alsham? Al Alsham? I don't know. Stellar Knight for you, Stellar Knight players. Alright. So that is box number three. So we're moving on to box number four. Turn Toad, Pendulum, the, the Pendulums are very present, should all Falco. Let's see, UA Mighty Slugger. Getting a whole lot of battery, man. The nine volts. Stellar Night Bridge. Oh wait, my bad. Sutteller Night Bridge. Breaker, the Dark Magical Warrior. I've got a, a friend of mine back in Ohio who runs a Spellcaster deck, and he runs that, and it actually runs a lot better than you think it would. Shadal Dragon, and pulled a second Castell. Nice, nice. Let's see what we're working with in this one. Burning Abyss. Pull that Burning Abyss Rare. Let's see what we got in this. Shadal Beast. Space Time Trap Hole. Pretty decent card. Okay, they're last I looked, man, this was like two weeks ago. There's like 15 bucks. I've seen them for 12. I've seen them for a couple different prices. Just depends. So this is the last pack in this box, and I got a Ring Abyss. Alright. You know, I was kind of curious. For the Dulce Alliance boxes, one of them is White Sword Monsters, the other one is Shadals. I don't know why that is, because as far as I know, Shadals did obviously come in this, but White Swords did not. So I'm curious if they made that design choice because people are running. Should all light swords. That's that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Falco. Got next. UA UA Slugger. Shadal Fusion. Nice card there. Let's see. Next one. Got another snake. Picked up that window. 
Got another face off. Shadal Beast. Got another Sky Bridge for the rare. Got BN. So you don't pull too many Yang Ming cards, I've noticed. Seems to be the harder pull out of this set, but it's it's not valued as high as the other things. Got another Binkai. It's very weird. Very, very weird, but hey, it's all good. Got Burning Abyss, more Shadal stuff. Let's see, Shadal Dragon. All right, this is the last box for. Uh, light sworn stuff, which I still don't fucking understand, but so then we got six boxes there. Six more boxes to go. Halfway there. Halfway. You know, I'm surprised I haven't seen Construct. That's like, when it comes to Shadals, that's the thing that everybody says they pull the most, is that Shadal Construct. Shit, who knows? Who knows? Let's see. Another breaker. Flash Knight. Another UA Perfect Ace. You know, I'm about to look into those Perfect Ace cards or those UA monsters. See what they're about. It might be a fun, fun deck to run. That abyss, though. Let's see. Got another Deneb. Deneb times dose. The abyss for the rare. What about this one? Traveler of the Burning Abyss. Nice. Picked up a face off. Shadal Falco for the rare. Oh, I picked up. Oh, Hymn of Light for the Ritual. I think people are looking for those. People are trying to run the Hymn of Light monsters. I'm not sure what they run like. UA. Got that Slug Meister. You know, he's out here knocking them out the park. So this is halfway. Halfway, let's see. Picked up second Shadal Fusion. And another one of these bad boys. Alright. We're finally into the stuff that actually has shit from this set on the on the box.
Not even that. See, I wonder if people have noticed. They've had to have noticed by now, but like, these are like Yang Zings. Like, that the Shadals ride on. These are like, well, I'm out of the camera shop, but they're like, they're Yang Zings. So I thought that was pretty cool. Pretty sure people have noticed that by now. I gotta be late. This shit's been out since like two years ago, technically speaking. Let's get started. Let's see. Let's see. Pulled Yang Zing Creation. Not bad. <laughs> Haven't seen that like at all. Ever. Okay, so <clears throat> it stopped again. I only charged my battery last time for like 20 minutes. So I'll charge it for like an hour. So hopefully this is better. <laughs> so, Snake. I'm gonna pull from the last pack right before the video cut off. And we're going to press forward. Press forward. Another slugger. Whole lot of stellar knights. Whole lot of stellar knights. Let's see. Another turn toad. Burning Abyss. You know, was it Kaleidoscorp? Kaleidoscorp. I can't even say his name. Picked up another Stellar Knight. Or Suteller Knight. Can't say his name. But there's Dose of him. There's those. Definitely those. Starlight. Or was it Skybridge? I don't know why I said Starlight, but it's Skybridge. Continuing forward. Sateller Knight. Altier Burning Abyss Alright, so that's it for that box Dude, how sweet would it be if I pulled another Dante though? That'd be pretty sweet. That'd be pretty sweet, man. Let's see here. Just grab the face off. Burning Abyss. So many hens of light. <sighs> Third Castell. And Panzer Dragon. Another snake. Binkai.
last night. Another one of these. Pretty sure somebody out there wants them. I know I could do without, but you know, UA Perfect Ace. That Dragon Hand Hunter is effects not bad, but not really sought after, you know. I was really looking for that card. So, only real good pull from that box was that, uh, Pistel. Let's move it on to the next one. Flash nights for days, dude. Hella flash nights. I have yet to see a Yang Zing path. I'm not surprised, but like, Yang Zings aren't priced as high as I thought they would be for as hard as they are to pull. Shadal Falco. Maybe the uh, the boxes with the light swarms on them just have better stuff. Got face off. Suwani. Nice Suwani. Let's see. Got Shadal Beast. Another Binkai. Got Bixie. His effect's too good. Got Construct. Nobody really cares for Construct, apparently, for some reason. And I got another Sateller Knight Sky Bridge. Burning Abyss. Stellar Knight Deltaros got that Ghost Rare. I actually run one of those in my extra deck, but I don't have the Ghosty. I might have to swap the Ghosty out. Alright, that's more box so on um, the last few here got three left three left got Paolo Yang Zing picked up another melodious Is it too much to ask for another Dante? Burning Abyss. <laughs> Face off.
pull another Castell. Super heavy Benkai. Oh, it's starting to look bleak, dude. It's starting to look bleak. UA Ace. Yeah, I'm starting to think that the, uh, I'm starting to think the Konami is putting all the good stuff in those light swan boxes. Shadal Beast. That's okay, I'll probably end up going through these. Flash Knight. Last pack in this box. That Yangzing Path, though. Nice. Another Panzer Dragon. I kid you not, I've pulled like <clears throat> 20 of these Reapers and like 40 of these Burning Visors. Like, Jesus. This one, another perfect ace. Stellar Knight Sky Bridge. off dragon Sinister Shadow Games. Looks like we're getting back in there. Another Flash Knight. Polarizer. He's very beautiful. Melodious. Yeah, that Riza. Too sexy though. Sexy. Let's see. Another Palo. This box isn't too bad. Dogu for the rare. This one. This one's better. Just because I only have one left. Another toad. Burning Abyss. Alright, that's it for that box. Here it is. The final box. Let's see if the... Part of the cards and Konami is smiling down on us. I'm pretty sure they're not though. Konami don't fucking like that. So let's see. Let's see. Come on. Give me something good. Got another. The Teller Knight. 
some dull beasts. Don't let me down, final box. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. <sighs> Starting to get bleak around here. Hopefully it doesn't stay bleak. Let's see. Shadal Dragon. Breaker. Let's see, let's see. Starlight Sky Bridge. Looks like this one's gonna be the one that sucks, guys. This is gonna be all bad. So far, I think we only had two boxes that really didn't have much. Suwani, not bad. Mighty Slugger. I'm really curious about those U-Way monsters. Like, I'm, I'm really curious how they run. I'm gonna have to try to build that. Falco? Just for funsies. I feel like if I took that to local, people would be confused about what's going on. <sighs> Queen of Dragons. Pull all those Hem of Lights. This is the first Queen of Dragons. Okay, sorry about that. It cut off. Um, so it's not my battery. My camera's overheating. So when I do prolonged videos, this happens. So from the last pack, I didn't notice until after. It was too late. Pulled a window. So there was some luck there. So there's like a million of these. are all the same. I'll open it for you just to show you what's in here. Pretty sure most of you already know that you get hollowed out stuff, you know, some decent stuff, nothing too bad, just some pretty stuff, Despot too, so, you know, there you go. So, like and share, again, my name is Faye, this, uh, this box opening was brought to you definitely by blowoutcards.com because they hooked me up and I appreciate that. So I'm gonna leave their link in the description below. And just tell me how you think I can I can improve. I will definitely be bringing you guys more content. Definitely. So yeah. Keep playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It's it's like cocaine in card form.